In this question, we're asked for the band pass bandwidth, and we're given three bits of information, three frequencies, the carrier frequency, the message frequency, and the frequency swing. So we're given FC, we're given FM, and we're given the frequency swing, which is not delta F, it's twice delta F. So we're given those three bits of information and we're being asked to find the bandwidth. So to find the bandwidth, we'd need to use Carson's rule. And clearly we have wide band FM here. So just by looking at those two numbers, the order of magnitude, kilohertz and hertz, clearly we have wide band FM. So we're looking at Carson's rule, 2 to 1 plus beta times FM. Now, we can either find beta and then find uh, the bandwidth, and that's possible. Now, of these three numbers that we're given, the least important is the carrier frequency. We hardly ever need the carrier frequency. So, we would need to find beta. So, beta, by definition, is delta F over FM. So, that's 100 kilohertz, no, that, 100 kilohertz is the swing, so the actual frequency deviation is 50 kilohertz divided by 50, divided by 500, which is my message, that gives me 100, so clearly we have wideband FM, so my bandwidth will be twice 101 times 500 and that will give me 101 kilohertz. Now there is another way of looking at questions like this. So rather than finding beta, what we could have done is use an alternative expression for Carson's rule. So instead of saying 2 into 1 plus beta times fm, we could have replaced beta with delta f over fm. And that gives us a really convenient way of writing the bandwidth, delta f plus fm. So it means if you know the delta, the, um, frequency deviation, and you know the message bandwidth, you can just add them together, and multiply by two. So that's a, a, an easier way of calculating the bandwidth. So it's simply two times 50, which is half the 100, plus 0 0.5. So this is in kilohertz. So 50 plus 0 0.5, 50.5 times two is 101 kilohertz. So whether you do it this way or that way, it's the same answer. And we used Carson's rule to find it. And as you can see, the carrier frequency is unimportant. We don't need the carrier frequency to answer questions like this.